I live on the Swedish homestead. My wife is holding the camera. She's much prettier than me. But for some reason, I'm on camera. Phone is messing up. And I need to answer a phone call. Uh, We tried to make a snowman uh, a few, it's not that long ago, but here's the bottom where we tried to make in. Sorry all of the pieces, but Hannah got it off when we was trying to get, make the middle, but because it was too tiny. I hope you see us next time. Bye bye. <laughs> I wanted to share with you guys just a couple thoughts about um, keeping bigger animals, um, specifically herbivores, no, cattle or no, sheep. No, no, no. Um, you know, many of you who might want to start homesteading or might want to, you know, get some animals, chicken might be the natural choice just because um, they're small and they are, um, you know, the infrastructure is not as much. But what makes um, the herbivore, the, the most exciting animal for me on the homestead is just that it makes you more free, more independent, that it opens up um, something that is harder to accomplish with an omnivore. Because, th th that fact simply because um, grass grows pretty much any anywhere. You know, you go to Iceland and they have grass growing there. They have, they have some shepherds there, or sheep farms. Um, they couldn't possibly grow grain there, uh, that's at least what I think. I'm not sure if they might have some microclimate somewhere where they could try that. But basically grass or herbs, they grow, you know, most places. And um, you can have these animals where, they, where you couldn't possibly grow any grain. Um, you know, as long as you keep your chicken flock just the size of um, whatever can feed off of your food scraps, that's perfectly fine. With an herbivore, you can be completely independent of any um, of any mill, of any place. You don't have to buy. Um, you don't have to buy any feed for them. Wanting to live this lifestyle, let's say you have a bunch of chickens, it can really become overwhelming with the entire cost, and all of a sudden you end up having to buy high quality feed for such a high price. But um, <coughs> this is something that. You can just, um, you, you have grass on your homestead, most likely, and uh, you can feed them that. And then okay, okay. they produce so much that you need for your garden. They produce so much that you need for your chickens. And all of a sudden you have this, um, this base for having other animal. I just want to encourage you guys, if you're planning on starting a homestead or if you're planning on going that direction or have a, you live on the country and you want to, you have some land and you want to start something, they are just amazing because they can turn, you know, what you would consider weeds or brush or things that just take over. They can turn that into such an amazing meat product for you and, and dairy and all that stuff. And so they, it's freedom, it's independency because you don't even have to run to the store to buy feed for them. You have worked a bunch with sheep. Um, now we have the Highland cattle. What do you like more, the sheep or the Highland cattle? I like them both, but um, I like the product from the cows more. I like beef. Yeah. But um, I like sheep because they're much easier to handle. And, yeah. Um, not as intimidating. Yeah. But maybe that's just me. Gosh, my oldest son Isaac, he loves playing soccer and it has been really frustrating for him coming back here to the winter where in Arizona he was able to just really kick the ball and now it's like the whole time asking, can I play, can I play? And it's so hard and frozen outside. <laughs> he plays anyway. He plays anyway, yeah. Is it freedom to you being able to go to the freezer and choose what kind of meat you want? Oh yeah. I don't ever buy meat anymore. No. It's nice. It's almost, like Isaac said earlier, it's almost like spring feeling. Even yeah. though it's totally a winter day, the sun is higher and it makes you want to be outside. And Grass will start growing in May. 
but um, I guess this is when we get small spring feelings here. <laughs> just the feeling of just, it. It's not like it's warm. I think it's anything, simply but. because you notice already that days are getting yeah. longer. And the sun shines. Then. How do I swing? You want me to swing you? No. Okay. This is also freedom. Being able to do this, the kids have a day off of school today. Just be able to spend this time with them right now. It's very special to me as a dad.